I'll get an opportunity to use interrogation on someone who isn't a member of the party. <laughs> Why are you so uh, I prefer. I prefer. Don't have to interrogate it, them. It, it don't. They're guards. <laughs> I don't think that's a wise idea. They're stupid, these uneducated, and confused. They're afraid of Glenn. Ghosts. Yeah. Glenn, these are the people that are supposed to be paying us. Maybe, uh, and so, protecting the city. So, whatever the fuck his character's <laughs> name is. What is your character's name? Did you ever introduce yourself? I don't remember. <laughs> and yet, uh, we okay. just have this guy following us. We don't know why he's here. Yeah, we just have this. We, we just yet, had uh, this Inquisitor guy that we keep around. We think he's funny. I, <laughs> he's got a very funny accent, yes. It's I'm sorry. Have I told anyone? <laughs> the sort of thing when I play Pathfinder, I just don't tell people my character's name and they just don't ever question it. Henry's, Henry's, I'm not told either of you what my name is called. I don't even remember if they're a gnome or a halfling. Probably a halfling. But the map is, I've not told you my name! It's an interesting I don't think anyone here it? told us their names. We didn't know anyone's names. Yeah, we just call them what we think they deserve. Like, the idiot well, I mean, that summons shit that destroys the party. The in a... guy that gets mimic stuck to his face. The one with the beard! <laughs> well, I mean, in Harry's campaign, I usually just call people by their class, because I can't remember their name. <clears throat> That's true. Except Which me. makes sense in character. Yeah. Except me, because I'm pretty much your keyword. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, do you try and find some of the guards? Yes. yes. And please don't antagonize them. They have it bad enough. <laughs> From I just want to use these spells on someone who isn't one of the party. They're the least educated, like, brutes in a city that is pretty much all wizards and mages. Yeah, no, I'm not actually going to do it. Then what are they doing there? <laughs> Someone needs to guard the place, and not everyone wants to or has the aptitude to be a wizard. Okay. So let's find some assholes! Okay, yeah, let's just go. Let's split up and go find some people. Alright. Okay, split up and search for clues! <laughs> Rat row! Velma and Daphne, you're with me. I remember, Daphne, don't get kidnapped again, for fuck's sake. Oh, shucks, but that's my fetish. Smack. <laughs> you, you Shut up, shot, <laughs> You couldn't have shot Dark Arts. That, that couldn't have been what happened. I'm not shooting someone else yet. <laughs> but meanwhile, like, a Hollem of the Stone is still just sort of sitting there, like, contemplating what just happened to him. <laughs> Yeah. See, which do you know, like where, like he is? Where's Harry? You know what? I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna text him. <laughs> He's not on Steam and hasn't been for the past four days. I'm just blanking, blanking Harry. Let's see you guys go about town. Yes. Yeah, while I'm searching for guards and stuff, I kind of look at what kind of shops there are. Okay. Uh, well, you see a lot of magic shops. Uh, Weapon Enchanter. Um, a lot of things that cater to science and magic. Ah, uh, but I don't have the money to get an enchant yet. Let's see what I got. Are there any magical accessories? Ooh. I should think so. <laughs> Dice. Um, does anyone market a brawler's belt? Uh, just, what is a brawler's belt? Uh, it just gives me damage resistance to bludgeoning. <laughs> Five. We went over this, it was like 1,000 gold. What the heck was that? <laughs> that was Owen's ringtone. Ringtone. I occasionally explode in <laughs> duck noises, you should know this. Yes. Uh, yeah, you find a, you can find a Brawler's Belt for uh, about market price. Yeah, I buy one. Yeah. I put it on. Just, okay, I'm done with this that. This is where you find out where it's actually a cursed belt. God damn it. You are now... the bee. Oh. I am actually the bee.
No, probably not. No, you're fine. But <laughs> is there like some sort of pawn shop I could go to? Well, there's a shop that buys and sells curios. Oh, I go over there. Uh, All right. Hello, good sir. I would like to sell this silver pocket watch that I acquired <clears throat> on my travels. I thought uh, I could get some nice coin for it. Oh, wonderful. Like How'd you come by it? <clears throat> oh, a good friend gave it to me, but I'm in some troubling times, so I need to sell it. But I'll probably come back to buy it back later on. May kind I examine of a Pawn shop thing, I guess. May I examine it? Yes, here. I can't believe you're fencing in this city. <laughs> it's really far away from where I got the watch. I think I'll be okay. <laughs> What's this engraving on the back? Oh, that was the man's name. He, uh... He was... <laughs> yes. He was a very eccentric fellow. <laughs> and and don't mind the secret compartment with white dust in it. It's... it's, it's... <laughs> It's Is it snow. Snow. cocaine? Did you no, just so. steal this from the Probably, dad's Probably, I don't know. Like I said, he was very eccentric. <coughs> what are you trying to sell me? <laughs> I don't know. It's a take a whiff. Sir, I'm afraid you'll have to take your business elsewhere. He keeps oh. the cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's fine with me. I take the watch back. And uh, later, I'll probably <laughs> clean out the watch to get it to be able to sell it easier. Goodness, the so things that walk our, through uh... my door. I need to take a break. <laughs> Have fun, sir. That uh, I wait a little bit, kind of perusing what he has while he goes into the back. Uh, does he have anything like interesting? Um, various knickknacks and curios, like various wizardry paraphernalia. Ooh, any what? Anything interesting that I might be? That might be interesting. He's not really a magic shop, so most of what you're seeing is like pointy hats and like wands. Eh. Ooh, uh, like fake non wands or wands? wands. Non magical like, wands, right. Wands right. that are used for making useful wands. Right. Uh, any jewelry? Yeah, he's got the nice I'm collection of like, signet rings. robbing this shop. You better not fucking rob the shop, you little bitch. <laughs> so he's uh, in the back snorting cocaine. How is my sleight of hand going to work? Do I have advantage? <laughs> uh, well, I would actually say roll stealth. Since, roll I mean, like, you can just pick something up and put it in your bag. I'm really glad I just came I'm back to, like, the best, like, moment. Check. Harry! Sorry, sorry. sorry. I know. Since, I, since you're the last one here, hand. your teeth turned into spiders. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Do you Enjoy want that. a free spell? Oh, yay. Do do want want <laughs> That's first of all, roll to see if you can get away from my discerning glare, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be watching you after the last time. <laughs> all right. Unfortunately, I don't have stealth, so... <gasps> Fuck. I followed you. You managed to break something expensive. I start walking out of the out, out of the building. This is when you realize that there is a spell placed on the shop. Hold on, that I spell. I, wait. That spell is audible alarm. Wait. I, that was, Fuck. That was, I don't we don't know you. Anything to do with do with this, and I walk out of the shop. All right, I'm I'm chilling over here. Me. I'm chilling in the corner. I don't know these guys. Oh. Glenn, what was that for? Strike to point out, I'm pretty sure that was his stealth check to avoid my glare. No, that was stealth, stealth check to stealth. steal something. What the fuck were you doing? Nothing. Does this city have a pub? <laughs> Meanwhile, the, uh, the shopkeep runs back in, hearing the very loud blaring of the alarm spell. There appears to be some... He appears to have some flour on his upper lip, Glenn. I see this, right? It's easy to see? Yeah. Alright, so I start moving my arms and kind of looking all weird and stuff. Ooh! It, this is a <laughs> drug-induced dream! Bluff check, bluff check, bluff check! <laughs> Crit fail, he killed you. Ah, uh, where's my fucking bluff? Okay. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Um, how would bluff work? Would that be a opposed sense motive? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. I don't know. And I'm gonna say you're gonna get some pretty uh steep 
Well, he has Keep. cocaine. He just had cocaine, so I think he's a little out of it. Oh, hey, where, is, I mean, where is everybody? <laughs> uh, we are in um, Compass Town. Compass City, whatever. Same thing. Where's my token? So we forgot, and apparently someone decided it'd be a good idea to try and steal something. Well, he we let don't know the them. opportunity We don't know happen. them. I wasn't planning on stealing anything. You literally this kind of happened by accident. Dark. Yeah. He believes you. <laughs> God. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Luck of the road. <laughs> I, I start walking backwards with my hands, like, you know, waving, and then I just leave the building. I <laughs> lost interrogation on you. <laughs> Out of the building, correct? <laughs> I... Yes. All right, go right ahead. Will save, motherfucker. Will save. Where? So will save is my uh, only weakness. Like, it's a by station. What's gonna happen to me? What is <laughs> that alarm about, buddy? Oh, I accidentally broke something in there. Oh. Yeah. Let me see how many questions I get. Uh, so while they do that, I'm gonna walk into the shop as well. Where is? I would do that if I were you. <laughs> Let's see. Last for one minute a level. Excellent. I have four minutes on my hands. Okay. All right then. I technically didn't do anything wrong, so I didn't. Technically. You were technically. To break something. Yeah, I was. I was looking through the shop and you know, knocked something over. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck, I can't do anything now. I mean, if I'm gonna be honest shooting. with you, and I know I kinda have to be, I was planning on stealing something while the shopkeeper was in the back snorting coke, so I think... But I, I didn't actually steal anything, so I think I'm okay. Oh yeah, Harry? Yeah? I don't know if you were there for this, uh, he tried to pawn off the watch he stole from Fudge. <laughs> I was luckily able to get it back, but, you know, he didn't buy it. <laughs> The, the shopkeeper realized. Took the cocaine. Yeah, the I shop. Smack you around the head with the butt of my pistol right now. Yeah, ow. <laughs> it's not I, my fault he did okay. that. Okay, so I actually punched you. Right, so I'm sorry I came in late. Um, put it simply, I had to drive with my mom last night. We, <laughs> we got back at like 10, 8, 10 p.m. Didn't go to bed till like two. That's fine. What's what's done That's is fine. done. Anyway, okay. Pelham is. I'm sure there. you'll make up for it by critting yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so since um, since Oz has haven't been to this shop yet, I'm thinking that I might be able to find something interesting. I decided to go inside. Oh, it was a pawn shop. Well, that would be the town forum. But oh, okay. oh, where's the pawn shop? Uh, oh, they're just... about these like tents and stuff. This is kind of an abstraction kind of map, but okay. Well, I'm gonna start looking for any places that uh sell magic. You are in the right place. Wonderful. There. There are magic shops, weapon enchanters, weapon alchemy enchanters. labs. That actually would be pretty nice. <laughs> mm. It's very sparsely populated, but what is there seems to have a lot to do with wizardry. Okay. Oh, also, this whole time, they've just been, like, dragging you along. You've just been sitting there contemplating what just happens to you in that cave. I thought it was just a chest. <laughs> You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> we made Glenn rage quit. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm trying to think of first off where I can find no, some of these things no, I have. No, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, just I currently gave, have a master of flail and a suit of full plate. And neither of us can use that. Well, there is a pawn shop, but you might not want to go there right now. Well, is there an armor smith or weapon smith that can bring these two? Yeah, you can tell the people who make weapons and armor are not viewed with as much prestige, and there aren't too many of them, but they are around. Well, I would find the nearest one and go and try and start the conversation. No. Do I need to roll anything? Any spot checks or anything? Uh, no. I mean, I assume you're just gonna like keep looking around the city and like asking random strangers until you find it. Yes. Yeah, so. 
Yeah, you make your way to uh, an armor. You can tell that the stuff on the walls isn't all that good, but... Alright, anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach in my backpack and uh, go greens, and I'm going to pull out a suit of standard suit of full plate. Go, do you, would you like to purchase this plate, or would you know anybody that might like this? It's, it's been carrying me around, and it's weighing pretty well. <laughs> you just pull the suit of full plate out of your pocket. <laughs> oh, goodness, backpack. I would. Ah. Seen a suit this nice in a while. <coughs> All right, one second. Uh, I'm gonna look at the price of this thing. Actually, should I roll an appraise check? Yeah. Do players sell for half or full market price? I, mean, huh? I, was, gonna I was gonna sell for like half. Hmm. Well, okay. After that roll, yeah, you're gonna sell for half. Well, again, my guy's a very honorable thing. He understands it's gonna be sort of like he's laying around in his backpack for a while. He's like, I'm going to sell for half. <laughs> I love how you're like trying to make an equitable deal for this guy who's a little bit down on his luck, and Dark Arts is robbing the pawn shop. I tr I wasn't planning on it. It just kind of happened. <laughs> Your fingers just sort of stick. To like it. I said earlier. Like I said earlier, we're dysfunctional. It's part of our charm. <laughs> That's I only have four first level spells now left, thanks to somebody having to try and steal something. Any of you who can use, or better yet, learn spells from scrolls, they're around. No, I gave them like a box. Nope. Well, that's what I'm trying I'm to fighter, do. fighter, I have no magic whatsoever. <laughs> You're a fighter, you don't know what magic is. Yeah, I need to do it. Well, no. <laughs> right, so. Okay, so I'm gonna offer to sell it to him for 75, uh, 750 gold. Fair price. That price, would, yeah, he'll take it. Wonderful. I also pull out the masterwork flail and go, do you know anyone who might be able to win by this as well? Uh, I'm one of the only armors in town. I'll be happy to take it. Wonderful. Now, this one is masterwork. This one is of higher quality, and I would like to maybe sell it at maybe, um, 60%? Perhaps? I'm gonna be straight with you. I'm gonna sell it for like twice what it's worth, so yeah. Okay, lovely. Convenient. So, let's see, let's see how much that is worth. Alright, uh... Right, so that is Flail's cost. Give me one second to check. I'm sorry, this is taking a little bit. That's okay. So, Chris, you go into the pawn shop. <coughs> Not an answer. Alright, so I sell it for 94 gold. Alright. For 94 gold. Yep. Alright, so in total, I sold the suit of plate for 750, and the... ...844 gold. I assume I take that in platinum as well, because that just makes it easier. Yeah, I mean, you probably don't want to be carrying, like, six pounds of gold. So, Chris, you go into the pawn shop that is currently, like, alarm-triggered smashed vase on the ground, and the shopkeep is in the back doing blow. <laughs> My kind of place. <laughs> this, this is where you want to be, Chris. Trust him. Chris, you in there? Okay, I guess not. Alright, he forfeits his turn. Then. Beautiful. Chris, we're talking to you and you're silent and you just come in with that. <laughs> I don't know if he knows I'm not paying attention. It's not my turn. Can we assume that that burp was Sydney. in character? I I'm addressing you now, Chris. You go into the pawn shop, yes? Oh. <laughs> yes. 
I go, what's, what's wrong? I heard noise, what's wrong? <laughs> you just hear a voice from the back room, GO AWAY! I just survey the area. Do you hear some sniffing? <laughs> I don't try to perceive if I hear sniffing. <clears throat> I'd like to look at <laughs> and see what's wrong. <coughs> Sorry, my phone's ringing one more. <coughs> you mean clacking? I no, because it's my landline, not oh. my cell phone. Do you have a landline? I who? Oh. Okay, they're not leaving a message, so alright. Um, you, you <coughs> ask what's wrong? Yeah. I told you to go away, so I look around the shop to see what we What's out of place? Well, you see a vase on the ground in pieces. And you hear an alarm spell going off that's beginning to get quite annoying. I go set to the back, hey, if I fix this, can I have it? Yeah, whatever, go away. I cast mending on it. On all, I gather all the pieces I can find and cast mending on the vase, broken vase. Vase. I'm a little busy right now, I'm sorry. You, Amazing. You fixed the vase. Alright. Yep. Here, in <sighs> case you don't know what it specifically does. Like, where the hell is it? Oh. Shit. My friend just got fired from work. E. That sucks. Ow. Why? Apparently what happened <clears throat> is that he had been on, like, some sort of, like, I guess, like... What's the word I'm thinking of? Probationary? Not probationary, but, like... Internship? Not intern... No. What it is, is, um, he had... He works on commission, and what happens is that he had been owed money by the store because they had not been putting him up for work, so not being able to earn his commission. But, um. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't know, it's, it's weird. Huh. Well, that sucks. Alright, uh, anyway. So. What I'm going to do is send some, you know, I'm not going to rob the pawn store because I actually have a sense of morals. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, Chris, you now have a vase. Yes. It is just a vase. Yes. It's not worth it's... much. Are you and going it has to fill no it? special qualities. You're going to fill, fill That's what you think. If you want to, like, carry some water in it, it has no handle, but you can carry water in it. <laughs> worry, Maybe you can give that blade of grass a nicer place to live. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, exactly. I said it was useless. Not useless, just not really all that special. The magic. Uh, I forgot to put that in my inventory. <clears throat> this music is pretty nice. <coughs> I thought so. So I'm gonna fill in the magis of what went down because he wasn't there. Uh, we went to ask questions about uh, the connection between Ivanov and this place. Nothing really panned out, but apparently there's some sort of weird shadow thing going on in the distance, and we're going to uh, try and talk to some guards. <coughs> going to a bunch of drunk guards. Yeah. So, you know, right up our alley. Yep. Right. So, uh, we're hey. actually gonna ask the guards. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I mean, I'm gonna stay in the back, because I kind of set off an alarm, so I'm gonna keep low for a couple minutes or two. So, uh, go right ahead. I'll be at the, I'll be at the pub, wherever it is. Does this, does this town even have a pub? <laughs> Honestly? No. Probably not. Uh. <laughs> like, 